Two of the three Houston police officers shot yesterday are now out of the hospital. Meanwhile, court records are shedding light on the sus suspect's extensive criminal history, while questions remain as to how he obtained an illegally altered firearm. Fox Sports' Blake Hansen shares the very latest in this investigation. Blake. Heather, the suspect Roland Caballero is now officially charged with three counts of attempted capital murder of a police officer. Tonight, he remains hospitalized. 31-year-old Roland Caballero now in custody after a police chase shootout and standoff Thursday. Houston police say it started with a family disturbance call in the middle of the afternoon. When officers arrived, Caballero took off. Police say he then crashed his car, got out, and got into a shootout with officers. We heard uh, several gunshots going off rapidly, and uh, we just ducked because it felt like it was very close. Three officers were hit. They were identified last night, though the police department left out their full first names. Their officer, Ed Gadsen, 35 years old, who has served for four years. 32-year-old officer D. Hayden, a three-year veteran. And 28-year-old officer A. Alvarez, a two-year veteran. They all work in Northeast Patrol. Grateful to God that they are right. It's been a tough week for law enforcement in our city. Police say Caballero kept running, carjacked a woman, and then briefly barricaded himself in a home before being taken into custody with a gunshot wound to his neck. Investigators say the gun he had been using was illegally altered to mimic an automatic weapon. I've seen him uh, just jump out of the passenger side and just take off on foot and. You know, he had, he had a, I didn't even know what kind, what, what kind of gun it was, but it was, it looked like a machine gun. It's what's known as a Glock switch and had a drum magazine with extra rounds. It is the type of weapon used last September in the shooting that killed Houston police officer Bill Jeffrey and injured a sergeant. Court records detail a lengthy criminal history for Caballero. He's been arrested multiple times since 2008 when he was 18. Three weeks ago, he was named in open warrants for an aggravated robbery and unlawfully carrying a weapon. He has at least five felony convictions and in 2014 was sentenced to five years in prison. As the investigation continues, including into how Caballero got his hands on the weapon, those who live nearby are just thankful it wasn't worse. It was crazy. Um, I'm glad to hear that they're all right, doing okay. Only by the grace of God, we have three injured officers instead of three fatalities. This has got to end. Police say the two officers released today were officers Hayden and Gadsden. Officer Alvarez remains hospitalized.